that has suffered the worst of the privations that austerity can bring. We won't devolve austerity to different parts of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. We will empower English regions, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland by providing them the resources they need to invest in the future they deserve. Now there are two people that are parading around the country speaking to very small audiences, both of whom want to become the next Prime Minister. So when they compete with each other about tax giveaways of £10 billion to the hedge funds, to the multinational corporations, I ask you the question, would you rather a tax break of £10 billion for the very richest in our society or a debate about where we spend 10 billion on mental health, on social services, on education, on housing, on jobs, on job creation. Nobody is going to say during the next general election campaign there is no choice. There is a choice. You go down the road of austerity, inequality, poverty, injustice, or the road that was fought for and envisaged by those that founded our trade union movement that brought about health and education and housing and all the great social improvements. I urge you, do not allow our movement to be divided. Do not allow our message to be distracted. Keep your eyes on the prize. The prize of getting rid of this government. The prize of a Labour government dedicated to the redistribution of power and wealth in our society. Durham, thank you.